Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to get a stream just like a desktop stream, but from your phone. A big thank you to Streamlabs whom I have partnered up with for this video. And I have already used Streamlabs mobile myself when I IRL streamed in New York. Oh my God, dude, literally, I'm gonna get hit by every single fucking car. It was really quick and easy to set up and I'll be walking you guys through how to do it as well. So let's get started. First and foremost, the obvious, we're gonna wanna go to the app store and download Streamlabs mobile. There is also an Android version, so you go to the Google Play Store for that. Once you open it, it will ask you to allow your microphone and camera, enable it because you do need those to stream. Log into your Twitch and authorize it. So first and foremost, there is a default back cam. You can also swap it to your front camera and there is an ultra wide back cam as well. If you swipe to the side, you will also get access to the event list. If you have Streamlabs Prime, you can get access to their paid themes, which is what I use during my live stream. Just pick the one that is the most visually appealing for you. And you can choose whether you'd like to use the border, alert box, or event box. And then just move it to where you want it to be. And you're good to go. There are also some bonuses with Streamlabs Prime, like disconnect prevention, removing watermarks, multi-streaming, and more. If you don't have Streamlabs Prime, completely fine, we can still make a really banger layout. We're just gonna go to the editor. You can select from pre-made layouts, either the portrait or the landscape layout, depending on which orientation you're streaming at. Or you can go make your own. Under layouts in the top right, if you hit plus, you can choose things to add. Add a widget like an alert box, an event list, donor goal, or literally anything else you would see anyone using on Twitch. You can add free pre-made graphics from Streamlabs, a custom image from your own phone, like this cute little drawing I made of Dignitas's alien logo, or a stream label like a daily sub goal. In the alert setting, you can select which alerts show up. In stream settings, you can adjust things like resolution, frame rate, bit rate, etc. Also, from my experience, the default stuff worked perfectly fine. There's also a simple mode if you want to keep your layout looking less cluttered. And as you stream, you can swipe to the right to access the event list, and you can choose to skip events. Also, as you hit go live, chat will just appear on the screen for you, so you can always stay in tune with chat. Hit go live when you're ready to, and it gives you the option to multi-stream. Turn it on if you would like, and since my Twitch is already linked, it gives me an option to connect another account. So by clicking that, I can connect my YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, or If you're not gonna multi-stream, totally fine. Let's go back and select which platform you'd like to stream on. It will take you to your stream info, which you can edit, and then just hit. And here's what it looks like when you go live. There'll be a little bit of a lag because of the stream delay, but up at the very top, you can see the amount of time you've been live for, the amount of viewers, etc. And with Streamlabs Mobile, you can literally get your entire mobile stream looking just like anyone on a desktop computer would. So I really hope this video was helpful for me personally when I used it. It was about five minutes of setup for a one and a half hour live stream walking around New York City, which was really fun. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribe. And I also do stream on Twitch four days a week. So I hope to catch you guys there and I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.